But we love talking about local folks, two local folks taking care of one another. And this weekend, it's time to turn the town teal. The Ovarian Cancer Walk is on Saturday, and Kathy Mannon has the details in the invitation. Good morning, Kathy. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm excited absolutely. to be here with you. Yes, you know, September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and I think awareness about ovarian cancer specifically is so important because there really isn't a screening for this. You're exactly right. It's um, The symptoms are so generic and vague and they can be tied to so many different other things like when we talk about ovarian cancer the symptoms it's bloating it's eating less and feeling fuller it's abdominal pain and cramping and it's changes in bathroom habits i joke and say if i eat mexican food twice in one week like i have every symptom of ovarian right. cancer but it's tied to so many things yeah. you have to know the symptoms and if any of those things persist for more than two weeks you really really need to get that checked out and just make your doctor aware Part of it's knowing your family history. Part of it is just paying attention to subtle changes. It really and truly does make a difference. Early detection is critical um, because you have, of course, you have a much greater right. opportunity for, for solutions and survival when you catch it early. Right, and unfortunately, because these symptoms can be so vague, uh, many people, many women find that, you know, they are diagnosed a little bit later, um, unfortunately. Right, that's, so myself, I got involved with the OCC because my mom and my grandma mm. lost battles to ovarian cancer and they both were, found it late. Um, you know, you chalk up, well, I'm just gaining weight in my middle because I'm, you know, in my 50s and 60s. Sure. You know, you blame it on menopause, you blame it on a bunch of other things. And we're so busy as women taking care of everybody else. <laughs> looking at ourselves is the last thing we really do. And right. You've got to pay attention to those to those signs. So right, you're right. right. And uh, we're going to go out and we're going to walk on Saturday for this. Uh, tell me where this is happening, uh, what time, how people can get involved. Sure. Um, we've changed the locations this year, so I want to make sure anybody who's coming yeah. out uh, make sure that that you know it's at Flower Hospital. Um, the registration begins about um, between eight and eight thirty in the morning. Opening ceremonies kick off at nine fifteen, and then the walk immediately follows. What we do, everything that um, the money that we raise with the Ovarian Cancer Connection is part of uh, what we do with financial assistance to ladies battling gynecological cancers. You know, sometimes women are making the choice: Do I pay for the medicine that I need or do I pay my electric bill? Um, just providing gas cards to get them back and forth to treatment is critical. If we can take any of the stress out of their lives, that's what we want to do. So we um, we love that we stay, the monies that we raise stay local here in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. So please, please, please come out and support us. Go online, make a donation, follow the Ovarian Cancer Connection on Facebook. We've been posting signs and symptoms all week long. We want to make sure that you know because you matter so much to us. Yeah, I love that you're helping you know women right here in our community. And again, as you said, you know if those symptoms uh, persist, you know reach out to your doctor. I think it's so important that we you know, are in tune with our bodies and we yes. can identify when something changes or something isn't quite right and, and just take notes on that. You know, there are, there are great apps out there where you can, you know, put those symptoms in and, and just keep tabs on them and then just check in with your doctor. And, you know, hopefully if you do, unfortunately, if it, if it is ovarian cancer, you can catch it early. Right. Yeah. Kathy, it's go ahead. It's just, it's so important to really listen and advocate for yourself because of the ge how generic these yeah. are. Like they can, you can easily kind of let it go yourself or your doctor might say, eh, might be something else. Truly, truly, truly keep pushing and advocate for your own self. Yeah, say, it's hey, I, I want that, you know, CA-125 blood test. You know, that's the one thing that they can do or an ultrasound or, you know, as you said, we we right. have to be our, you know, advocates for ourselves. So, uh, and you can come out and, and support what's happening here uh, with the Ovarian Cancer Walk on Saturday. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thanks for having us on. Yep, take care.